Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is BTEC Applied Science, Unit 5 Chemistry, and it's an introduction to enthalpy. In terms of the specification, then, this is learning aim A3, and this video is going to cover those first five bullet points there. So our outcomes for this, then, are to compare the degree Celsius and the Kelvin scales, um, which are different ways or different units for measuring temperature. We're then going to define enthalpy and enthalpy change, and then we're going to recall what's what's meant by standard conditions. First up, though, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated, and please make use of the likes and comments features. So let's have a look at the two units for temperature then. So you're probably really familiar with degree C which is the one on the left degrees Celsius, because that's how we, we measure the, the temperature um, outside. And we measure, you know, you'll hear on the, the weather forecast in terms of temperatures. And that's what we're familiar with. However, in science, we'll use the Kelvin scale. And we need to use the Kelvin scale when we're doing calculations, um, particularly in chemistry and physics. So 298 Kelvin is the same as 25 degrees C. So to convert from degrees C to kelvins, you simply add 273. And you can see that's the same all the way up the scale. Kelvins is just 273 on top of the degree C. And what that means is, if we go to the very bottom of this scale, the Celsius is minus 273 and the Kelvin scale is zero. That's why the Kelvin scale exists, the absolute zero which is the lowest possible temperature, an absolute zero, it's zero kelvins. That means that everything is perfectly ordered and does not move or vibrate. Okay, so let's look at this term enthalpy then. So enthalpy is the thermal energy that's stored within the chemicals, and usually that's within the chemical bonds. And it's given the symbol capital H. So the enthalpy then, it's actually two different parts to it. So it's dependent on the internal energy, which is U, plus the product of pressure and volume, which is pressure multiplied by volume. And this delta H then is the change in enthalpy, which is what this unit's all going to be about. We're going to be looking at enthalpy changes. So the change in enthalpy is equal to the change in internal energy plus the pressure multiplied by any change in volume. Now, we can't measure enthalpy directly or of a system, but we can measure the effects it has, such as energy change to the surroundings. And that's what we're going to be looking at in terms of calculations later on. So the final thing we need to worry about in this video then is what are standard conditions? So standard conditions are used to allow scientists to compare values, because if experiments were carried out in diff under different conditions, then their enthalpy changes may well be different. And the agreed standard conditions are 298 kelvins for temperature, 100,000 pascals for pressure, and it must be quoted per mole of substance or per mole of reactant. And the enthalpy change delta H would be measured in kilojoules per mole. And that's the end of this video then. So hopefully you found that useful. And thanks for watching. Good luck.